I'm Dr. John Avendano, President of Kankakee Community College. I want to welcome everyone for coming out here today for our ceremonial groundbreaking for our Advanced Technology Education Center. It is an exciting time for KCC and what a difference a week makes, right? We were talking earlier, if this was out in the snow, I don't think we'd have this turnout. But I want to, again, express my appreciation for all of you finding time and your schedule for being out here today. I want to start uh, this afternoon's comments with some introductions. We have a number of introductions. These are key people to the project. And I want to begin with our Board of Trustees. If you would please join me in acknowledging our Board of Trustees, Mr. Jerry Hoekstra, Board Chairman. <laughs> Mr. Brad Hovey, Board Vice Chairman. <laughs> Mr. Pat Martin, Secretary. and Mr. Dick Fry, retiree of KCC and board member. I also want to acknowledge and welcome back to the campus uh, Trustee Emeritus, Mr. Hugh Van Voors. And what I would hope to be the soon next uh, Trustee Emeritus, Mrs. Betty Mintz. Also here with us today, we, I'd like to recognize the general contractor from PSI, those who are here with us today, Mr. Dale Pigosh. <laughs> also with us, Mr. Pete Aguizio. <laughs> the architects from BLDD, we have with us today, Mr. Steve Oliver. <laughs> Carson Durham. <laughs> and Anita Laney. Also on our project this year, but we don't have them with us today, is Dave Tyson from Tyson Engineering, and Steve Mays and Bob St. Mary from Alara Engineering. Let's acknowledge them as well. <laughs> to have a successful project, you need to have a number of committed people from the college. We will have a number of people from KCC who will be uh, working with the project, the architects, and the contractor. And I want to acknowledge Mrs. Vicki Gardner, Mr. Rich Soderquist, Mr. Brian Yeoman, and although he's not with us today, I want to acknowledge Mr. Rob Kenny. This project is, is the vision of a number of years in waiting. Uh, this project has been uh, in the books, if you will, for approximately six, seven years. Uh, we are grateful for the gift from the state of Illinois for $5 million to make this project a reality. But the vision itself is a result of the success that we've had with our faculty and those in the program for clean and renewable energy. So please join me in acknowledging the vision and the work and the commitment from our professors, Mr. Tim Wilhelm and Jennifer Martin. They're not waiting for the bus, they're actually just over here. <laughs> I also want to acknowledge the leadership from Mr. Paul Carlson and Dr. Michael Boyd. <laughs> what begins today as a shovel in the ground will result in a state-of-the-art 21,000 square foot facility that will be equipped with classrooms, labs, offices, and training experiences in the fields of wind generation, solar thermal, solar photovoltaic systems, and electrical instruction. This facility will be a regional education and training facility for others wishing to teach such curricula. Equally important, in the spirit of sustainability, this building is designed to meet or exceed the U.S. Green Building Council's leadership and energy and environment design gold certification. So I am proud to say once this building is completed that KCC will not only have the first and only lead gold, we will also have the second lead gold facility in Kankakee County. We break ground today with the anticipated completion date of the summer of 2016. And this is just as this building prepares the workforce for the future of clean energy, 
we will also be beginning our celebration for our 50th anniversary. This new facility will change the face of Kankakee Community College. All new visitors as they come to our facility will see this as one of our gemstones for the institution. Aside from the facility though, the true credit goes to the, that what happens inside the classroom. At this time, again, I want to acknowledge the great pride that we have in the faculty and the staff of Kankakee Community College. So our faculty and staff that are here with us this afternoon, if you would please raise your hand and let's thank them for their expertise, their energy, and their commitment. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to our state representative, Representative Kate Clunan. Thank you, Dr. Avendano. It is exciting to see so many people here today. Of course, it's a nice day, and I'm glad you're all here. It's exciting for me to be here to be a part of this. I want to congratulate KCC on this new, I say, state of the future facility. Yes, it's state of the art, but it's also state of the future. It's going to bring a workforce here and train a workforce for the future. And we're very proud of that. I'm also happy that in these tight times in the state of Illinois, we're able to bring some monies right here to Kankakee County, to KCC, so that we can train our workforce of the future. A lot of you know I still hold the teaching certificate, so education at any level is very important to me. And when we can train our future workforce right here, this means that Illinois can be competitive, not just on a state level, not just in the Midwest, but all over the world. We want to compete in a global workforce, and we'll have the ability to do that with the ATEX Center. KCC's continued to be responsive to the needs of the area, area people who are asking to have their workforce trained, the area businesses. This will only aid in that and make this a star of the Midwest. So again, congratulations to you, and I just can't wait to see it finished. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Jones. At this, at this time, I'd like to bring uh, to the podium, as I mentioned earlier, the, the true visionary and really the leader, um, not only at KCC, but throughout the Midwest, quite honestly, throughout the country, and in my opinion, one of the best people in the world, and that is Professor Tim Wilhelm. Thank you, Dr. Avendano. Um, I hope you will indulge me for just a short bit I'm doing this for the benefit of my students, and they will know exactly what's going on here. Five seconds. It's 128, and time for the ATE Groundbreaking Center. <laughs> my students will know exactly what that's about. I have to start off by saying this is the second best event of today for me. And I want to start by telling you about the first best event. I stopped at Casey's in Hersher to fill up my gas tank and grab a can of sugar-free Rockstar to drink on the way here. And surprisingly, I ran into a former student who graduated from here about eight years ago. And we recognized each other instantly and we chatted for about 10 minutes and he just went on and on and on. He said, you will not believe what a topic of conversation KCC's electrical technology program is. I said, really? He said, yeah, do you remember so-and-so and so-and-so? And, -so? and this particular graduate, he left here and went to work up in the Cicero area as an electrical maintenance technician. Within a year, he was in charge of planning all their maintenance. Within another year, he was the maintenance supervisor. Within another year, he was the plant supervisor. And when they shifted him from hourly to salaried, he scratched his head and he said, you know what? I'm not having fun doing hands-on work anymore, and I'm putting in all this overtime, I'm not getting time and a half for it. So he left there, and now he is a supervisor for Kinder Morgan, much closer to home, and he just went on and on with how great the training program was here at KCC. And Yuri Sterick and Pat Cleet over there, uh, partners in the education here, you need to know he told me what the most valuable thing he got out of the program was. He said he still uses it every day, and he said it used to upset him. We have students build circuits and demonstrate that they work, and then we send them out of the room and we break the circuits, and we make them come back in and figure out what the problem is and fix it. He said that used to really annoy him, 
But he said that ended up being the most valuable experience he had, and he still uses that every day on the job. So I want you guys to know how he said hi, and he's very, I'll tell you what his name is later, and he's very grateful to all of us. So I had to start with that because truly that is the best thing because this is all about the students, and it's about getting good paying jobs. Now, Carrie asked me to talk about the purpose of the building, but before I honor Carrie's request, I have to brag a little bit. Um, our renewable energy training focus track within our electrical technology program last year was awarded a national award from the Interstate Renewable Energy Council, the Clean Energy Training Provider of the Year nationwide. And that was a real honor. And Jennifer Martin, if you'd stick your hand up wherever you are, Jennifer is a big part of helping to make that happen. We are the only accredited solar training program in the state of Illinois. There are only three in the entire 18 state central region of the U.S. And of those three, we are the only one that's at a college or university. The other are nonprofit corporations. And we are the only one with an IREC certified master trainer. And we teach to the North American Board of Certified Energy Practitioners competencies for a third party credential for our students. Our pass rate on those credentialing tests always exceeds the national average. So we are knocking it out of the park. But, park. but the big thing that we have that other colleges don't have from Dr. Avendano, from Dr. Boyd, from others, from Vicki Gardner, we get administrative support. And without that administrative support, this wouldn't be happening. So I want to thank the administration, too, for all the support you get. Now, they said, keep this under five minutes. I said, I'll do my best to keep it under 30. So here we go. Um, the, the building itself is specifically designed with specialized labs for the courses that we're teaching in the renewable energy track. But we will make those multi-purpose as well, so other courses and other programs get to take advantage of this. But right now, just as an example, in our photovoltaic lab, we have probably some of the best indoor lab trainers of any other training program in the Midwest, uh, but they use smaller photovoltaic modules. And we can string those together you know, in a big series circuit and make 200 volts DC and run it through utility interactive inverter, but they're kind of small. The new building is going to have a roof over the classrooms with curbing built in and access and a safety rail so students will actually be able to get out onto the roof, put up full-size systems with pre-installed raceways and access down into the labs where we can put all the balance of system components and the control electronics and so forth. That's going to be a big home run for this program as well. Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Not quite as excited about my meeting with the student today, but I'm pretty excited. And I'm very grateful to the state of Illinois, and again, very grateful to the administration. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this completed and getting the students in there learning stuff. Thank you much. Again, I want to thank everyone for coming out today. This concludes our, our comments section. We're going to do the ceremony of turning of the dirt here in just a second. You're more than welcome to stay for that. Please stay, enjoy some of the refreshments that we have here today. And again, thank you. Look forward to the completion of this building in 2016. And then look forward to the celebration of Kankakee Community College as we celebrate our 50th anniversary between the year 2016 and 2017. Thank you for coming. Have a great day.